Hey YouTube, love and light. The Empress is in the building and welcome to the Empire. I want to thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I'm going to be doing a um, energy check-in for the sign of Leo. Um, this is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs this. If this does resonate for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe to join our spiritual tribe and to help the channel grow. I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy off of the space, and then we can go ahead and get started. I want to just give you a special shout out, Leo, because again, you are one of my highest viewers this week, and I appreciate all of your love and support. Thank y'all so much. Love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's go ahead and get this energy cleared, and let's get it popping, popping. Okay, so Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, I ask that you protect me as I go into the white light of the tarot. Give me clear and honest messages for my Leos today. Anything that is of you, light and love. Anything that is not of you, I ask that you return to sender tenfold. I ask that you protect my Leos as they receive these messages. Thank you, Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are not a Leo and you are here, um, there is a message for you. So let's go ahead and see what we have in the energy for our Leos today. Oh, y'all. Uh, I've been doing things for, so we don't see Leo in love. What's going on, Leo in love? What y'all got going on? Let's see what y'all got going on in love. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. You are here for a purpose. So I feel like some of you might be trying to define your divine purpose or uh, find some purpose in a connection. Maybe find a connection that's giving you purpose. Okay, oh, that almost went okay. Oh, look, <laughs> and that card came out. <laughs> I saw it on the bottom and it wanted to appear. Okay. Says you are here for a purpose. 20 might be significant to you. Um, learning, realizing what matters to you. So I feel like somebody might need to be standing in their power, figuring out what is um, what is important to you st uh, and um, being your true authentic self going towards whatever your hopes, dreams, and desires are. I feel like you're trying to manifest um, something here. It says, trust what you need is there. With love, all can be accomplished. Uh, whatever you want, you can manifest. Um, just keep a positive attitude, positive mindset, an abundance mindset. Uh, release anything that's not serving your highest good. Um, any toxic energies, any um, obstacles that are being created to keep you stuck and stagnant. Um, I feel like you um, you have a need to be heard. Um, and you have a need to um, re to receive what it is you, you desire. So I feel like you are maybe seeking equal give and take in, some, in a situation. But you do have all the tools and resources you need to manifest what it is you're desiring. So if it's something that you are connected to that's not giving you equal reciprocity, I feel like um, you you probably need to release that. So let's see what's going on with y'all, Leo. I know y'all had some um, real heavy energy last week. So let's see what we got going on. Mm, where do I want to start? Let me see. Okay, let me just start here. I know we use these cards um, in our overall. So what's going on in love for Leo? What's going on with Leo in love? Let's get a few cards out here. I need to try to shorten my videos a little bit. I went a little bit overboard with Aries, but that's okay. I say what's in what I I I stay as long as I feel like I need to stay. Now if y'all don't stay, um, that's up to you and listen to the message, but. I, what I need y'all to do is whether you stay or not, go ahead and hit like so you can resurface this building video because somebody else might need to hear it. <laughs> okay. I feel like, okay, we got, you got a, uh, you in separation with somebody. Could possibly be a twin flame. Um, if you believe in that, I feel like somebody is longing for you or you might be longing for someone or you could be longing for each other. But I feel like you might be had to put your foot down with this person because they were not giving you um, emotional fulfillment or you weren't fulfilled in this connection. So you starting to realize what matters to you. Or maybe this person felt like, um, you know, very controlling, um, very um, selfish. It could have been a very selfish energy all about themselves and was putting aside your needs. 
but you have everything you need right within yourself. So yeah, so I feel like this person was avoiding um um responsibility or avoiding um you know what it is you were saying or you might be avoiding this person because i feel like you had a stalemate with this person right now so i feel like you guys couldn't come to a conclusion you're not um maybe not communicating well with this person or this person is just not hearing you you know so i feel like you you know maybe some back and forth a lot of chaos and conflict with this person so it caused a separation in the connection because i feel like you uh, you felt unheard you feel like you didn't have no purpose in the connection it was all about this person they was all about themselves just very fucking selfish. Let's see what's going on, Leo. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But I feel like you headed toward wish fulfillment. You are um manifesting what it is you hope, you, what it is you desire. And this is to be, um, feel like um, you you have a mutual attraction to someone or you have a kinder spirit or, you know, I feel like you have a need to have that a healthy balance with a person and this is is you know this connection is very unbalanced it's very one-sided you know but i feel like you're gonna you're heading toward emotional fulfillment or this person maybe sees you as they wish fulfillment because it's a twin flame but i feel like y'all got a lot of passion towards one another but i feel like this person just wants everything their way you know like i feel like you sitting on the sidelines Okay, alchemy. Yeah, so I feel like you have a healthy balance between uh, spirituality and practicality, but I feel like your ancestors have stepped in to come in. Oh, so this person's operating in their shadow side. Like I said, this person could be very um, in, in pride and ego, could be very deceptive, could be lying, could be some cheating. So this could have been a very karmic connection, could have been some addictions. Somebody could have been very obsessive very controlling like i said um and yeah just you know y'all i feel like y'all don't see things eye to eye you know it's always a, a clash of personalities here because this person is very selfish and wants things their way hmm, maybe this person is going through a dark night of the soul but i feel like um somebody wants to be balanced somebody could be getting some karma for something they did but i feel like somebody wants to bring balance back in, into the connection because I feel like somebody um, is very regretful for something they did, you know? Um, and I feel like this person may uh, repress their emotions, you know, suppress their emotions, um, not giving you emotional fulfillment, you know, not giving you the attention you deserve. I feel like it's a lot of chemistry here, but I feel like it's more like a situationship, so it's a lot of distance in this connection. Or you could live from at a distance with this person. Let's see. Yeah. But I feel like this person was very detached and cold. Yeah. In that shadow. Live, living in that shadow. Need to do some shadow work. But I feel like this, um, you know, um, I feel like this person was very comfortable with you. But I feel like you maybe got very comfortable with this person. So I feel like it was very hard for you to let this person go. You know, because it's a lot. This shadow side, I keep on wanting to stay on the bottom of the deck. But I feel like this person is finally awakening to what this connection means. But I said, uh, but I feel like until this um, person does the shadow work, um, the divine is going to keep you blocked from this person. It's going to block this connection. Hmm. Or this connection is being blocked until somebody gets themselves together. So let's see what else, Leo. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, so it's a lot of confusion in this connection. This person was creating illusions. Neptune energy here. Yeah. So I feel like you never knew where you stood with this person. I feel like this person um, um, was very noncommittal. Like I said, very selfish. One thing's their way. Very one-sided connection. Let's get one more card and then we'll switch to another deck yeah we'll go ahead and get in the tarot so yeah i feel like this person kept up a lot of chaos and confusion i feel like you finally uh took these rose colored glasses off you know i feel like uh oh this person uh, i'm gonna take these cards because they uh three of them flip but um so i feel like this person was wearing a facade right you know, not telling you how they felt about you. So maybe they really did feel uh, a, a strong connection 
a strong pull towards you, obviously, because y'all could be twin flames or a higher level soulmate, but this person never told you how they felt about you, so you just never knew where you stood with this person. Hmm. It was always a fight with this person to get anything out of them, any information. You know, if you ask them questions, it was always conflict. They didn't want to answer. They treated you very cold. They probably talked to you very bad. You know, wasn't very nice. And then um, this person was full of pride and ego. So this person was very, could be very superficial. So maybe y'all had uh, different uh, beliefs. You know, it's, it's talks about facade. This person had a different belief system with you than you did. Hmm. But also it says trust in divine timing. So the divine um, intervened in this connection. So um until this person did the shadow work it's some shadow work this person needs to do this person is not um being authentic and i feel like this person's being forced to look in the mirror so um i feel like your harvest is good um you will be attracting what it is you desire and that could be in autumn autumn of next year or something could have happened in autumn to cause the separation maybe you separated with this person in autumn so let's see. Let's see what's going on. Let me put that there. Let's see. I don't need that there. Really, because I might need to pull from those again. Yeah. So I feel like maybe there was um I feel like your uh you you might be reaping your harvest coming in August. So you might be receive uh, in autumn. You might be receiving an offer from someone else, or this person could be coming back um after they do the shadow work in autumn so y'all might be coming you know might be able to reconcile in autumn let's see what happens let's see what's going on yeah here go this uh seven of swords this mask right this person being very deceptive at the bottom of the deck you know hiding stuff this person had a lot of secrets could have been lying again cheating um could have been like i said in pride and ego very selfish energy, um, wants everything their way. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of deception. This person could have been, you know, like I said, creating illusions, a, a trickster, you know, and that magician in reverse energy. This person was very shady. Um, and they, they moved, you know, they moved around, um, very strategic when they was dealing with you. Very, very in and out energy. Let's see. Let's see what the tarot say. Very in and out energy here. I feel like this person was very um, emotionally detached or um, emotionally unavailable. Let's see what's going on, Leo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, spirit. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Mm, de definitely a very stubborn person. I can get no cards, man. These <laughs> okay. They heard me. Seven of Wands. Okay. So I feel like you um being, you know, protecting your energy. I feel like you being very defensive with this person. Or this person could have been very defensive with you, right? So um I feel like um this person could have been having you in competition, but I definitely feel like it was a lot of conflict. Um, like I said, it could have been a lot of passion here. Because we got this flame here and then the wands here. Um, you could have been dealing with a uh, fire sign. Um, or this could be your energy. I feel like this is your energy. Yo. You could have been dealing with a fire sign. A Leo area. Another Leo. Um, Aries Capricorn. But I definitely feel like somebody was in some devil energy here. But, um, <clears throat> but I feel like this is you setting boundaries. You know, I feel like it's um I, I feel like you always had a fight for a place in this per in this purpose life person's life. Like you didn't have a purpose um in this connection. And now you just, you know, focusing on loving yourself. You tr you trusting in your um own instincts, trusting your um own intuition. Yeah. So you and this Queen of Swords energy, right? Yeah, being very defensive. You know, you cut this person off because you're not settling for anything less than what you deserve. Yeah, you used your discernment here. Very intellectual person. You know, I feel like you did a lot of observing this situation. Yeah. You know. 
I feel like you was being very perceptive. I feel like your mind is clear. I feel like you um like you have clarity about this situation. I feel like you received some truth and clarity about this connection or this person has also received some truth and clarity about you because it's falling right up under this twin flame, right? Okay. Knight of Cups. Okay, I feel like this is um somebody that you have um somebody's very romantic um i feel like you following your heart though i feel like this is like your ideal match like i feel like you know you you might feel like this is your soulmate but i feel like this person is very charismatic could be um very charming i feel like um i feel like you use your emotions you know, make you make you made a decision based on your emotions versus what you was actually seeing. But I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. I feel like um, either this person sees you as their wish fulfillment or you see them as your wish fulfillment. I feel like this person is going to come in and, and make you some type of offer. And I see the chariot on the bottom of the deck, Leo. I feel like... Um, this person, I feel like you have you you um had to uh muster up the willpower to cut this person off so you can have balance in your life. So, but I feel like this person is gonna come towards you, they want a victory with you, right? I feel like you had to maintain a lot of self control in this connection. I feel like you're very disciplined, and I feel like you're gonna be very successful. I feel like you are very successful, but I feel like this person wants to have a victory with you so they are going to come in um i feel like they uh yeah i feel like they can be they, i feel like they think they can be very abundant but i feel like they're coming in very quickly in this car so it could be somebody who's at a distance from you look and it's knight of cups um this person could be again very superficial because it's got ego and pride vanity and pride here um, you got motorcycles, you got cars. So this person could be very good looking and get a lot of attention. You know, and again, I feel like you have always had to fight for a spot in this person's life. I feel like you never know your place. Maybe this person entertained a lot of other options. You know, I feel like you feel like you can trust this person either. You know, but now you're in separation. You could be longer for this person. This person could be longer for you. And um, spirit say that's the truth. You know, I feel like you're doing a lot of daydreaming about this person. I feel like you think about this person a lot. I feel like they think about you. I feel like this person. Um, I feel like yeah, you got some clarity, but I feel like you. Um, uh, this person wants to have a breakthrough with you. Ooh, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. But I feel like this person could be um awakening to what this connection is, because I think we saw that. Oh, this person self sabotaged this connection. Now they feeling rejected and lost and broken because you cut them off. Um, but I feel like this is going to activate this person's higher self. And I feel like you focus on self-love. I think this person wants to um, create a new connection with you because this Ace of Cups is here. So um, I feel like this person is now ready to give you what it is you deserve. So they, they I feel like they, 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 um, want a breakthrough or are going to, I feel like it's going to be a breakthrough in this connection. I feel like this person's going to come to you very, um, very, um, with very, being very creative. I feel like this person's going to put on all, put it, I mean, they're going to put it on thick because they see you as they wish fulfillment. Mm hmm And they, they see love, joy, passion, uh, love and joy, new, new beginnings with you. Yeah. Let's see what else, Leo. You know, I feel like you forced this person to take off this mask. Yeah. Five of coins is here. Now they feeling left out in the cold. So I feel like um, somebody could be um, having some, this, this separation could have caused some financial loss. So this could have been somebody you was married to or just in a higher level commitment with for some of you. Um, so I feel like this separation, or could they, they could have just lived with you. This separation, because you can see this house is all tore up on the inside. Like it was uh, like a, oh, like a tornado came through this. It's like, you know, like a hurricane or a tornado came through here and caused destruction in this connection, right? So something major happened, you know, and I feel like this really crushed this person. 
right? So now they feeling left out in the cold. So they, they, you know, they feeling a lot of misfortune. So it could be in their finances as well. So I feel like you and this high priestess energy, like I said, you use your intuition, your inner wisdom. And I feel like this person could have been keeping secrets from you. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. What's going on with this five of coins? What's going on with this five of coins, spirit? Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, but they definitely want a new beginning with you. And it could be, um, like I said, um, you know, this connection could have caused them some financial um, misfortune. Ooh, the three of swords in reverse. I feel like um, you're recovering from this heartbreak or you could have felt left out in the cold. You could have felt like, you know, this person leaving, you could have left you in uh, 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 ha having some financial loss, right? So I feel like, um, hmm, somebody is feeling very insecure. I feel like somebody very low on resources without you, or you might be low on resources without them. But I feel like um, you recovering from this heartbreak. I feel like you are healing, um, you know, forgiving yourself for whatever happened and moving on. I feel like you're moving on from this energy. Yeah, and they feeling left out in the cold. I feel like you maybe think this person left you out in the cold as well. Because I feel like this could be, you know, hmm, could be your energy. Um, You could be dealing with a um, earth, I mean, a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Because there's some swords out here. We got the cups um, again. Water sign. It could be... Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Earth sign. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But we got a lot of um, swords here. So I feel, I feel like somebody really wants to communicate with you. So it ain't out here yet, but I feel like you're probably going to get a message from someone. I feel like you uh, force this person to take off this mask. I feel like this person could have been living above their means, you know, with this facade, this five of coins falling under this facade, creating illusions, you know, you know, overspending, trying to keep up with a certain image for some of you. What else, Leo? What else for my Leo spirit? What else for my Leo spirit? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so the moon is here. I feel like, yeah, somebody is keeping some secrets. I feel like something was, um, you was enlightened about something. Yeah, this person was definitely um, creating illusions, right? Um, I feel like you definitely use your intuitions here, intuition here. Then we have, um, yeah, I feel like you use your intuition here. And found out something. Something was in, you was enlightened about something. You know. I feel like you was very unclear about where this, the direction of this connection. And I feel like you cut this person off because you didn't know where it was going. Or it was not leading you anywhere. You know. Like I said, I feel like this was very one-sided. This person was not giving you any clarity about uh, where um, this connection was headed. I don't feel like it was any growth and expansion here. But I feel like you're going to, oh, look, chariot, this person. Yeah, I think you're moving on. Yeah, I feel like, you know, this three of swords in reverse, you forgiving yourself for um, making any past mistakes you made. You forgiving this person, even if they didn't give you an apology. Um, but I feel like you're going to move on from this person. But I feel like they want to come towards you. I feel like you having the willpower to... Um, to, to not um, allow them back into your energy. I feel like it's taking a lot of willpower for you to do that. Okay, the Ten of Swords, right? So this person had you in deep anguish or this person is in deep anguish without you, you know, so because they want this victory. You know, I feel like somebody possibly betrayed you. 
Hmm. I feel like this person maybe um felt like they failed you or you or you could have feel like um disappointed because of um the failed relationship, but it was definitely a a, a collapse. I feel like this person had you feeling defeated, but I feel like this person definitely backstabbed you. But I feel like um you're going to be very successful nine of coins energy energy you're going to be very prosperous and you're going to be victorious because because you have um, new love possibly coming in for you hmm yeah so i think you're moving away from this connection because whatever this was it was extremely heartbreaking for you you know a lot of confusion here and again the uh, moon here and the um Illusions card is here. So this person was not being honest with you. Was not being um, truthful. There was a lot of lies here and deception. Let's see. Justice. But you will receive justice, right? And your justice is going to be you moving on to someone else. Yeah, this person tried to keep you blinded to what was going on. This person could have been married to someone else. Because we have the justice system, you know, justice could, could be the justice system. Somebody could work for the justice system, to be honest with you. But I feel like you're just looking for something that's fair and balanced. And I feel like you are moving on towards that. You know, you're forgiving this person for what they did to you. And you um, headed towards uh, finding what is what it is that's going to bring you uh, emotional fulfillment. Sorry, I had to get that card. Yeah, so two of swords. This was a difficult decision for you, but I feel like um, you definitely made a head over heart decision here. You know, you headed towards your wish fulfillment. Your wishes are going to be filled. This person it was um, it was at a stalemate because they was entertaining you and someone else. Since we have the three of swords in reverse, so it was some third party energy here, and that was the secret. This person was keeping a secret that they was dealing with someone else. Hmm. And and you was you always felt like you was in competition with someone, and you wasn't clear on where you stood with this person. So I feel like this is maybe a more of a situation ship or a friends with benefits kind of situation. But this person definitely was trying to keep you blinded to what was going on because this person got on a, a blindfold. But I feel like you had to use your intuition, even though you was. Uh, you know, uh, couldn't see what this person was doing because they was moving very strategically. I feel like you um, felt in your heart that something was going on. Because look, oh, wait, so come on through, spirit. This card, if you look, it's two people, another man and another woman behind her. So she can't see, but she knows her intuition is telling her something's wrong. So um, your intuition was telling you something wasn't right about this person. And and you was correct about that. But um, the scales is going to be balanced. This person, like I said, could be going through a divorce. Or just could be in a higher level commitment with someone else. Maybe they got... Uh, or you could be going through a divorce with this person for some of you so we have the king of pentacles here and i feel like you're gonna be secure and abundant i think you're gonna be very prosperous and i feel like you're gonna attract a king of pentacles energy here so um you leaving this person out in the cold but you got a new uh with this ace of uh ace of cups you got new love coming and this person is going to be a damn boss and then this person karma is going to be for them to watch you with somebody else loving on you giving you a secure relationship um equal give and take because i feel like this person did not give you equal give and take maybe it was bread crumbing you gaslighting you love bombing you Hmm. These people ain't shit. <laughs> Let's see what's going on, Leo. Let's get one more card and then we'll switch to another deck. One more card, Spirit. Give me one more. Give me one. Thank you, Spirit. So, um, here it is. The Page of Cups. I, I feel like you headed towards some new excitement here, right? I feel like you're curious about what is out there. And I feel like you're going to do just that. You know, I feel like this person um, um, maybe this person might come in with some type of surprise or you might be receiving a surprise 
from someone else. So you could be uh, um, getting a, a, a love offer or a date, uh, you know, because it's a Cupid. Cupid's arrow. So this King of Coins is coming in for you. This could be the new person. It could be the old person. So it's up to you. But I feel like this old person wants a second chance with you. But I feel like you, you're you going towards something new. Right? And you're curious about that. And you have this excitement, you know, about what else is out there. What's new? You know, because the past don't... I think I said that in your last video. The past ain't never got nothing new to say. <laughs> Unless this person has done the work, you know, this person could bring, you know, come in with a gift. This person could just come in just like a boss, doing everything you want them to do. But I feel like you got a dream. You dreaming of somebody else. I feel like you, you want to go on a new adventure, you know. I feel like you want new love. But I feel like you somebody is going to come in with a message. So you might be getting a message from this person. Or you could be um, getting a message from somebody who, who wants to date you. Ooh, Knight of Swords is here. I feel like some of this person going to come in charging, trying to, trying to get back with you. So this person could be very abundant and very secure as well. Hmm. But I feel like you're going to attract somebody who's very loyal to you, a boss. I feel like you're going towards something new, but I feel like this person going to come rushing in. This person could potentially try to sabotage the connection that you are, um, look, guilt and sabotage that uh, your new connection. So this person could try to block whatever your blessings are because they're going to rush in. They are going to rush in. They do not want to lose you. They want to take action. They're going to be very impulsive. This person is um, um, very, um, oh, what's the word I want to use? I can't even think. Yeah, they're very impulsive. Um, but they're very determined to come in and, and, and correct this with you. So this could lead to... Um, this person choosing you, but I'd be very cautious about that too, because I don't see no Kings here. I do not. There's no Kings here. They want a victory, but this is a page offers. This person could have been very immature, you know, or you could be attracting somebody younger than you. Hmm. A boss that's younger than you could be. Mm-hmm. And they could, and then they might be coming in, you know, leveling up. Doing all the things that the other person should have been doing, right? You know, but I feel like this person is very restless. This person that you um, are, are disconnected with or in separation with. But I feel like um, you're going you gonna, to um, leave this person behind. So let's see. Let's see what your person has to say. Let's see what kind of energy we get off of these cards. This is the Wild Truth Oracle, Mr. Beauty's Wild Truth Oracle. So we're going to see what kind of messages this person has for you. What does this person, what does, what does Leo's person want to say, Spirit? Oh, says, I want to share my world with you. I'm so sorry I couldn't see your worth. I thought everyone else was better than you. I am. I was a complete fool. So yeah, this person feels very um, regretful for how they treated you. So they're going to rush in and, and come in with some apologies. So they determined to have you, right? Um, this person is definitely trying to hold on to you. Because they see you, they, they're being very nostalgic about you. Because we have the Knight of Swords here, we got the Four of Coins, and we also have the Six of Cups. So this person's being very nostalgic about you, but they see you as this Queen of Pentacles here. Very uh, mature, um, very uh, motherly, uh, motherly nature. Could be a mother of your, kid, uh, mother of your children, or uh, could be a guy too, father, mother, or parent of your child. Uh, but they are um, very abundant, stable. This person, you you a boss yourself, right? Mm -hmm. But this person made a head over heart decision when it came to you. So they didn't see your worth, or maybe you didn't you you wasn't in the same 
financial position you are in now so they didn't see your worth and maybe they chose somebody over you and um now you headed towards somebody else now they want to come in because they know that they made a, a a huge mistake they know that they knew you was a twin flame they knew you was they wish fulfillment but they was wearing a mask they was creating illusions in pride and vanity and they could have chose somebody over you for you know financial security now they want to come rushing in trying to correct it but you know the damage is already done right now they longing for you because you you know these twin flames these higher level commitments it's like a magnet of pull towards one another but in only in divine time so it says i plan on making you mine forever so this person coming back your person is coming in to get you, but it's going to be in divine time. And I feel like the uh, angels are blocking this until this person um, can prove to, to level up and give, it, give you what it is you deserve. But that will be only on you. It says, I'm so obsessed with you. I can't stop watching you and stalking you. I tell myself that I'm going to stop, but I can't. This person is watching you. Yeah. They could be viewing your social media accounts, looking at your pictures. They longing for you. You know, this separation is bothering them. This person is very obsessive, too. So, you know, like I said, very selfish, very possessive, obsessed. Oh, where did that come from? Oh, but they see you as the queen of cups. This, per this car was supposed to be here for a reason. I'm going to take it. So, yeah, very loving and nurturing energy. And this person just took took you for granted. They, you know, they they wanted something. Uh, they wanted financial stability. They was in this um, ego, vanity and pride. But um, you was very compassionate, loving, kind, and very emotionally and balanced. But I feel like it's a lot of love here. This person just didn't do the right thing by you. Now they feeling like they... Um, being left out in the cold right let's see what else what other what what else do we have we got 37 minutes y'all been talking too much let me get a few more cards and we're gonna cut it and one more to do tonight and then i'm gonna be done what else spirit uh -oh. it says i just want us to start over this person wants a second chance so they coming in in this chariot very quick and it's knight of swords energy very quick they want to communicate with you so they might want to bring you some truth and clarity it says i'm sick with guilt over how i treated you this person know they didn't treat you right and they sick about it they all up in their head they are feeling it they are getting karma for how they treated you but you know um i feel like the the universe is saying it's not the right time but i feel like you know this person is like i said in this two of swords energy and they need to make a decision so um yeah yeah and this person was definitely keeping some secrets so you know definitely somebody else here they was entertaining a lot of options so now they want to come in and choose you but you got to make sure this person is not in that same toxic um devil energy and it's, um, yeah. Let's see. What else, Spirit? Anything else? Okay. It says, I feel like it's really over. Yes, because I feel like you walking away. This person feeling like you really over. I feel like you got this person blocked. I feel like you're not in communication with this person at all. You know, I feel like, um, yeah, it says, I hurt your feelings to protect you. So this person probably hurt you to protect you against themselves, right? They know they wasn't doing right. They knew they couldn't give you no commitment because they was with somebody else or entertaining other options. They was living in this shadow side and um, they wanted to protect you from them. You know, they knew that they was going to continue to hurt you. They knew they was being very selfish, a very selfish energy. You know, so maybe this person said something to hurt you. You know, it wasn't very nice, very cold hearted towards you. Okay, we'll take these and we'll end it. It says, oh, this person said they need rehab. So this person might be having some addictions. That might be the secret, you know. Um, there could be sex addictions, um, materialism, could be addicted to money, could drugs, alcohol, sex. Mm, it could be another, anything that's, um, yeah, anything can be an addiction. So this person could be a, addicted to um, playing the field. This person need rehab. Oh, 
Okay. It says, I've been avoiding seeing you face to face because I'm so embarrassed. I wasn't who I pretended to be. And I know you see the real me. You saw this person for what they were and you cut them off. So, um, let's see. Yeah. This facade, you forced them to look at themselves in the mirror. You know, now you're forcing them possibly to level up, but this person needs to do the work before they come back towards you. And I feel like you moving on. I feel like they know they fucked up. <laughs> and they feeling like they lost you forever. But they did that to themselves, right? Okay. Hmm. It says, I don't want you to be with anyone else. Stop acting cold towards me. You know you still love me because I still love you. So this person real damn arrogant. <laughs> This person real damn arrogant. Let me get these closing cards because we already have 40 minutes. Oh, yeah. I said I was going to shorten it and I just didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Let me just get a couple of cards and we'll wrap it up. What else, Leo? Oh, oh, that's too many cards. Let me give me one more. Okay, it says, I am a visionary 12. Creativity is driving is, is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in a uh, unique in unique ways that others can benefit from. So yeah, I feel like you have all the tools and resources you need to um to manifest what it is you desire. And I feel like you're going towards that. And it says I am adaptable five. Flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors, right? So it says um, you are here for a purpose, learning, realizing what matters to you. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. And you cutting this person off because you know that you are the prize. So Leo, that's what I have for you. If this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe until the next video. Love and light.